Hi folks, welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, I'm going to outline the process in which we bought our IKEA vacant house here in rural Japan. This will not be the entire process. This will basically pretty much cover uh, the purchasing process, how we found it, and probably about the halfway six month point of the, our renovation. If you do stick to the end, I'm going to show you the process in which I used Chrome as a browser and I will uh, walk you through the process of different websites that I use. Also, if you need more information, you will find links to these uh, websites on the description of all of my videos. When we found our IKEA in August 2022, the asking price was 6 million yen. But because the property of the previous owner was still in remaining in the house, which is very common when you find an IKEA in Japan. The realtor gave us the option to take it out ourselves and reduced it by another million, which made it 5 million yen, which we accepted this offer of 5 million yen. At the time, the yen rate was approximately 135 or so a dollar. So the final purchase minus the closing fees and everything was around 36,000 US dollars. So the process to purchase the house probably took about a month, quite frankly. So you hear many stories from different folks and there are many different cases uh, where it can take a long time due to complications with property taxes or finding the rightful owner or something like this. But in our case, there were no issues. There was rightful owners. In our case, the son had moved on and he no longer wanted to be in the countryside and had moved to Tokyo. So we pretty much bought his childhood house. The property consists of the main house, which was built in 1975, a small center block uh, warehouse, a large two-car garage without electricity indoors. And it also has a lot of uh, fruit trees, figs, cherries, chestnuts, and a bunch of other trees. I have no idea what they are yet, so we're getting to that. Like I mentioned, the previous owner's uh, personal belongings were still in the house. Like clothes, pictures, pottery, all kinds of stuff, which quite frankly was kind of sad to see that they left it behind. We inquired multiple times if they wanted some of it back, such as the pictures, but they informed us that they did not want it. So unfortunately I had to just dispose of it and uh, take it to the local recycle center. Some of the cool items that we found going through the, the property was, one of it was a really cool koto, which is a musical instrument, which we plan to use as a decoration in the house. And some of the other things we'll probably keep too. So we just kind of set aside until we figure out what we're gonna do. In order to get rid of the stuff, I purchased a Japanese mini truck uh, because I've always wanted one of these trucks. This little Japanese mini truck that I purchased was a 1993 Subaru Sambar. And I paid $1,200 for this little truck, but it is absolutely awesome. It's four by four supercharger. With this truck, I literally threw away or gave away or relocated, wherever the case may be, all the property in the house. The process of getting rid of uh, the previous owner's property, it took me several months, maybe about 10 trips to the recycle center. If you have seen some of the videos before, you will see that the entire property was overgrown with many weeds and vines, also called kuzu. The kuzu had crept over the trees, power lines, bushes, and starting to creep over the house. Little by little, we have been clearing the grounds. The trees were in desperate need of some pruning, lots of weeds to be pulled. In addition, we also have a really cool Japanese garden with a lantern, decorative rocks. However, they seem to use that as a dumping ground. That's another project that we need to do is go ahead and get the Japanese garden cleaned up. So please stay tuned for that as well. Once we finish the Japanese garden, I think it's gonna be really cool sitting out there by the Engawa, just looking out uh, into the Japanese garden. I'm really looking forward to that. In the backyard, there is a ceramic tanuki. So tanuki is a Japanese uh, raccoon dog, uh, kind of a mystical little creature in Japan. I mean, that, there's actually a live one. I have one running around my yard. I have seen him several times. The tanuki was in the backyard 
covered with kuzu. So I brought him over to the front and placed him on top of one of the decorative rocks. And that's where he's gonna be. And he's pulling guard duty and watching the house. So since we decided not to do a DIY renovation for different reasons, one, I just don't have the time and we wanted to get it done a relatively uh, reasonable time, maybe in a year or less. So we found a local builder in the town of Miwa. His company is Asahi and his name is Kayaki-san. And the focus of his construction style is uh, focusing on healthy, lifestyle living which basically means that uh, most of the materials will be natural materials so for example the wood floor would be thick cedar planks the walls will be shikui and most of the beams will be exposed nicely by november 2022 kayak-san has started working on the house they started by removing all the walls that we did not want along, around the house. We wanted to open up the house as much as possible and make it easy to maneuver around the house uh, for future years. We also wanted the bottom floor to be level to include the pantry and the laundry room. So basically, like I told uh, Kayak-san, I wanted the house to be, lack of better words, Roomba proof. So basically, just imagine a Roomba moving along the house without any obstructions whatsoever. So that's what was the intent of the, the floor. Then they moved on to the floors. By this point, we have not decided to pour a concrete slab yet. Once the floors were removed, we discovered there was some dampness, which is not uncommon in these older houses. Since this is a rather extensive renovation, it did not make sense to me to not to pour the concrete slab along with the vapor barrier in order to prevent rotting and termites in the future. We want this house to outlast us and possibly last for another 100 years if possible. All the flooring joists were replaced with stronger ones and made the floor perfectly flat across the entire house. Next, the solid and thick cedar planks were installed in the house with insulation below the cedar planks. The smell and look of the cedar planks is just absolutely amazing. Uh, as soon as you walk in the house, even at this stage, you could just smell it and hopefully this lasts for many years to come. All the electrical wiring was removed from the house and detailed plans were made with Kayaki-san. We met with him multiple times to ensure that we captured everything we wanted for future electrical needs. We're also adding more outlets to the casita, the man cave, the garage, and spotlights to the Japanese garden. Next, the windows and the front door were removed. We are adding all new double pane windows throughout the house with a nice sliding door as well. This was also a big expense but very pleased with the results. I'm also glad that we did not decide to put off the windows to a later date. Although it did cross my mind because I was trying to save money but later I discovered that the original window sizes that were on the house were no longer available so changing the windows at a later date would be more costly in the long run because it would consist of a major renovation in the house. After the windows were installed, the insulation process began in the walls and the, and the ceiling. Uh, they placed insulation on the slanted ceilings followed by sheetrock. The huge beams were also beautifully exposed throughout the house. They also installed two other large beams in the dining room and the kitchen area. Uh, this was necessary because we want to install a wood burning stove. So in order to accommodate the stove, they had to remove a load bearing pillar. So these two huge beams were installed in lieu of this uh, load bearing pillar. I also have another video of this entire process when these two beams were installed. So if you have not watched it, please go back and watch it. It was very interesting watching the carpenters do this work. All right, folks, so this is about the halfway point of the renovation process. Uh, if you have made it thus far, I appreciate it very much. And uh, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to continue watching this process. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and spend a couple more minutes showing different websites using Chrome on how you can find, you can shop around for different houses, akiyas, kominkas, or different properties throughout Japan. All right, folks, so if you go ahead and start, 
by going to my channel at Coco Lencho Japan. You could go ahead and just click on any of the videos. And then once you're in there, you go into the description. And then towards the bottom, I have different websites uh, that you can use to do some research. If you have other websites, please let me know. I've just been gathering some information here and there that I have been able to find. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, play with a couple websites right here. So towards the very bottom, there's uh, homes.co Japan uh, Kia Bank. Let's go ahead and click on this one. This particular website here uh, allows you to find a vacant house. You can search by living theme, search by area, and so on. If you look at this right here, basically is what it's doing is outlining the shape of Japan. So it kind of gives you an idea. So this is the Hokkaido area, the main island, uh, Shikoku, Kyushu. Since I live in the Yamaguchi area, let's go ahead and see what we can find here in Yamaguchi. And you can select the property type for sale and residence, land for sale, and so on. Let's go ahead and do a for sale and residence. And select the city. Yeah, let's go ahead and try check all. This does not translate, but it's a little self-explanatory, I believe. And you can kind of go ahead in here and see the different details for each of the different houses, uh, the price, and so on. Okay, for example, this property right here is located in Shunan City, Yamaguchi Prefecture for 3.9 million yen. You can go ahead and click right here, check the different details. It has different pictures. Now, one thing that myself and many other people have realized that websites are not as fancy or as nice as uh, we're probably used to, to say in the United States, especially with the real estate websites. The real estate websites in the United States will give you pretty much a virtual tour. Here you just have to uh, deal with it. <laughs> they don't have the best pictures. Seems like they use very outdated cameras and equipment for it, but just be patient and try to do your best. So it gives you different building structures, such as wooden, the size, floor plans, some attractiveness of the town around Shunan, and so on. Try not to keep this too long, but you'll get the idea on how to navigate with this particular website. This particular website right here is Inakanet. As you can see, rather crowded, lots of information. Very good information. But I wanted to point out about this particular website. And one is you see that the theme like I showed on the other website where this would be Hokkaido, Main Island, Shikoku, uh, Kyushu, and Okinawa down here at the very bottom. But one of those funny translations that happens when you use Chrome or any other kind of translator is this right here, for example, China. Obviously, you're not looking in China. What it's doing is identifying the kanji of Chugoku and it translates it to China. Those are one of the things you have to keep in mind that sometimes the translation would be a little bit funny. But after a while, just poking around, you'll be able to figure it out. Now let's go ahead and uh, poke around here in Shikoku. Shikoku is a beautiful island. We have been there multiple times, drove around the entire island for a 88 temple pilgrimage uh, we did the pilgrimage by car we did not walk but uh, here you can look around it gives you all kinds of other details as well for sale the type the price the terrain lane that layout traffic you know how you get there whether there's a train station there or why not second hand home land background this looks like a beautiful uh, ocean front. You have some land for 7 million yen. Let's see what kind of details we can find here. See, it quickly did a quick translation there for you. 
All right, folks, hopefully this has been official. I just wanted to show you that it is possible. You, there's many other different websites. So if you have more, please send them my way. I'll go ahead and add them to my description below. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. This would be the initial video of maybe a mini series of three or four different videos uh, with the process of the uh, Kia vacant house renovation here in rural Japan. If there's something different you would like to see in the subsequent videos, please let me know and then I'll try to cover it. All right, thanks. Goodbye.